and welcome everyone to World Vegan Vision Mumbai and its first online conference in 2021. My name is Ruchika Chitrabhanu and I warmly welcome you all today for the series of Awakening Souls. World Vegan Vision is a global non-profit organization based in New York, USA founded by Harshad Shah and his wife Malti Shah. The topic of my title, Moral Basis of Veganism, I'd like to mention that the philosophy of being vegan or vegetarian is more than just a simple choice of diet. It reflects interdependency among and compassion for all living beings, human and non-human animals. In fact, the ultimate basis for veganism is moral. And actually that's it, you know, in, uh, technically I could end my presentation, but uh, to fill it up, I'll speak for another 20, 25 minutes. But, but that's the main essence. Uh, Mahatma Gandhi in 1931 gave a very fascinating speech uh, in London, the moral basis of vegetarianism. And in fact, he highlighted that it is the spiritual strength and the moral reasons for which men and women should become vegetarian. In fact, that he uh, dismissed or downplayed the health aspects. He says uh, that he has seen vegetarians who eat too much, who eat the wrong kinds of things, and some non-vegetarians have good health overall too. Uh, although, although I think uh, personally, my experience has been, my health has dramatically improved, uh, but you have to be at the right kind of a vegan, uh, you have to have the right kind of vegan foods. So uh, um, I think uh, one of the key things I want to highlight, especially in this environment, is that with this pandemic and coronavirus, uh, it is uh, quite uh, 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 unnerving to see that most institutions, government and senior prominent officials in the world public forum, they do not even address to how to eliminate the next pandemic. The root cause is eating animals. Yes, there are environment, ecological, economic habit reasons, but that is the root cause. If you go back in history, the second point is uh, uh, even during this pandemic, uh, uh, there's some very, very scientific research uh, and, and evidence that if one slowly improves our health by eating vegan, but on the healthy side of it, you know, you could be a vegan and just eat very processed food, refined food, Coke and chips, or not take walnuts and chia seeds to prevent brain damage in old age you are not going to be healthy, but if you eat the healthy vegan diet, it may be the ultimate defense. It by far can uh, uh, have a greater impact than any medication or vaccines. Now, uh, I want to uh, highlight that uh, the moral aspect, you know, every, every person has an innate moral goodness. It's there, whether it's evident uh, in a big way or latent and, and can be bought out is, uh, is, uh, is a different aspect. For example, I grew, as a, uh, in, in Delhi on Tuesdays, uh, the, you know, pre-pandemic, they didn't have any uh, parties because uh, they didn't want to serve meat and alcohol. So, uh, so, so there was something innate uh, in people respecting that. Uh, in fact, there was, there's, a, uh, uh, there's this joke that among cannibals, uh, one missionary goes and tries to convince them not to eat other humans and they reach a compromise. Uh, no children on Fridays, but I think you get the message. Uh, so uh, I also want to highlight that veganism and vegetarianism is not something ascetic. It's actually a positive joy. The, the fact that I don't have to hurt and kill animals and eat the meat is, gives me deep gratitude and joy. There's a joy of kinship with fellow non-humans. Uh, and it's not just moral, there is a important aesthetic, social and hygienic aspects. 
the the speakers in this sessions uh, in the last two days have spoken a lot about cruelty to cows and chickens and uh, other animals so i won't go into that uh, but uh, if you look at milk uh, it is designed to triple the weight when one is born and that too of your own species so when you are 2 years old your teeth come out your mother stops making milk and that's it if you are 10 years old and you ask your mother for milk you'll get a slap not only that we eat milk we drink milk of other species like a cow and buffalo has three times the size of humans and they have a lot more fat and protein content so it's very unnatural um so uh, uh, uh and uh, i think uh, one of the main uh, things that this is i've been now been vegan almost 20 years and i can uh, say just from my from my personal experience that uh, uh in terms of the other things that have happened in my life and i believe in, in general for other uh, vegans as well uh there's a enhancing of uh uh more harmonious lifestyle in in the uh, and lot of things happen in a big broad way you know whether it's uh uh your health or or the kinds of people you meet or your mindset in fact now i'm going to go to the mindset part the uh the uh, the impact of mind through violent eating violent foods can have a impact also on global peace it's not one for one and i'll go into that it's indirect and 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 it's a fertile ground not necessarily a direct cause but uh, let me start with quoting uh, rajendra prasad india's first president he was the only president elected thrice in the 1950s and his quote is an integrated view of life as a whole will reveal to us the connection between the individual's food and his behavior towards others the only means of escaping the hydrogen bomb remember it was tested around then is to cultivate respect for all life in all forms under all conditions it is only another name for vegetarianism few years earlier in 1952 albert schweitzer won the nobel prize in peace and this is shortly after the first atomic bombs had been dropped in japan and he said that compassion can only attain its full breadth and depth if it embraces all living creature and does not limit itself to mankind so so veganism is not just something which is a uh, a uh, little different and odd if it can prevent pandemics make your health better maybe uh, have you handled corona virus better maybe prevent uh, or at least go towards uh, minimizing warfare in this nuclear age it's it's very very big it's not something small um and uh, uh, i would also like to now go into uh, one very good uh, question which some uh, person had asked which is that they are non vegetarians who are kind and very good how uh, uh, so how can you say that uh, there can be more war and violence because people eat non veg food and that is absolutely true many people have been raised without thinking from habit from birth so it's really not uh, their fault it's just the way they have been brought up however it increases the odds of violent behavior just like uh in slaughterhouses towns in the us there have been studies done and the incidence of violent crime murders and rape is lot higher than in other other cities uh even some uh, serial killers and terrorists or oh, some of the things fbi checks is if they were cruel to animals in their childhood like poking the eyes of cats so it increases the odds that doesn't make it one for one i would also like to point out that vegetarianism is not an end in itself they are a fellow uh, non vegans who have excellent qualities which i do not have so it is just one part of the thing and however all i can say is i just do do to others the way i would like to be treated myself whether it's a fellow human or a fellow non human animal uh in fact uh, hans peter dior a german physicist who won the so called uh, uh, no alternative nobel prize in physics he wrote a paper matter is not matter basically as we now know with quantum physics and 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 and, and uh, so many uh, insights into science and light and atomic structures we really don't know what's real what's happening 
so so if you don't know even in uh, in terms of matter what's mat really matter or not how can we be so certain about some moral aspects so all i can tell fellow vegan is to be uh, 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 just just state your positions to non vegans understand where they're coming from one of the things i picked up uh, from reading some uh, book on human psychology is many people in society both past and present just do things because others are doing it it does not matter the logic the ethics that's the main thing so one thing i've always bring out in argument if i actually have a fact where veganism is increasing i bring it out like if somebody comes to manhattan and i take them out and i say there's at least 50 vegan restaurants in manhattan or israel has as of 2015 at least 8% vegetarians and vegans so then it makes them more likely to change <clears throat> and all movements in history were started by small groups or one person is there's no institutional mandate <clears throat> the uh, the next part i'm going to go is uh, people always say what about extreme situations and and there i do not have all the answers because they they are none they are shades of gray they are very complex situations where, you know like uh, for example there may be extraordinary poor fishermen and and all one can do is point out the right path and 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 the how to reach the ultimate goal is a very important and complex tactical issue uh however let me highlight in uh to uh, uh one or two things in terms of spirituality since this uh, four day seminar has an emphasis on that in uh, mahatma gandhi's autobiography the story of my experiments with truth which deeply has influenced uh, shankar narayan too with a previous speaker he points out that his son manilal at age of 10 developed severe typhoid along with pneumonia as well as delirium at night and doctors were consulted so one doctor said he must be given chicken broth and eggs otherwise there's no scope and and gandhi ji and his wife and the son at least he could uh, say something and decline because of the principles and the doctor just said well everybody else listens to me and but i understand where you're coming from and uh, what happened is uh, uh, over several days they gave him very good hydropathy and other good care and the son recovered so called miraculously he turned out to be the healthiest of the children and in that chapter in his autobiography he says whether it's coincidence luck his naturopathy or god you make your own judgment he believes it's the latter uh i will also cite you that in 20 years i have taken essentially no medicines and i also do not take any animal products even if they are in medicines uh a uh, one example is uh, around uh, 17 18 years back due to working at a computer too much i got some uh, neck ache which for a year and a half uh, was persistent although not very bothersome but it wouldn't go away so one doctor said coat and coat it has to be broken and he prescribed viox i called the company the next day and they said they had pig in it so i didn't take it i went back to the doctor he rolled his eyes and said there's nothing else i can prescribe and he thought i was crazy uh very shortly i don't know whether it's two or three days uh, my, the ache just disappeared and five years later it was in the press that viox causes heart attacks so you can draw your own conclusion as to how the universe may or may not work and i do not have all the answers like i said the uh next point i would like to go into is uh, that uh, uh promoting vegetarianism and veganism especially also deepens democracy let's go into uh like uh, uh voting rights in both us and india it yeah, it was only allowed uh, maybe 7 8 decades back that's that's all four of the first six us president had slaves uh and uh, so there extraordinary speciesism uh we have and even all progress in civilization in a zigzag manner whether it's different races different religions different sexual orientations they have all evolved because the democracy has been deepened we don't just limit our circle to our immediate self or the immediate family members 
So this is the next big thing. And by embracing and enhancing our circle of sympathy, we ultimately help ourselves. But I'll also is... like to point out that uh, there is a, a very good book, Practical Vedanta and Veganism by Satya Prakash Agarwal. Uh, he, in fact, I have to thank uh, because he launched one of my first such presentations 15 years back. And he bought that, he's now 96, very, very alert and writing. And he pointed out that in Indian wisdom and philosophy, uh, uh, you know, things don't have to be st static and set in stone, which they were, never were. You have to keep evolving. So we have to keep thinking ahead. So he thinks that, I think veganism is the next big wave. Um, so uh, I would encourage you to buy that book when, whenever it's published in the near future. Uh, the other point I'd like to highlight is that uh, governments and organizations need to be even more aware of this aspect of promoting uh, compassion, uh, increasing harmony through this lifestyle. Because, uh, yeah, uh, you know, it, 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 this prevention of war and uh, uh, nuclear in this nuclear age is, is not just theoretical. You know, just because a hydrogen bomb has not been exploded yet doesn't mean the probability has gone down. So, uh, you know, as Einstein says, problems can never be solved at the level they were created. So uh, different uh, countries keep uh, fighting over borders, uh, economic warfare, uh, and but if they promoted this kind of lifestyle and mindset, maybe it, they'll be more peaceful. Maybe they'll bring more peace. Maybe uh, if they didn't eat animals in China, there won't be a pandemic. Uh, 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 or uh, so, uh, so it's not just something uh, to be minimized. The uh, and uh, here's another great Gandhi's quote: "The moral progress of a nation can be judged by the way its animals are treated." And uh, I would like to add that. Uh, 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 at the end, uh, just to summarize that ultimately it, it is actually a harmonious lifestyle that ends up benefiting ourselves uh, uh, even more than others. Uh, we can only control ourselves. I think uh, I will uh, now conclude so that other speakers have time and we have time for question and answers at the end. Thank you.